or like this. And um, nice, I believe, is this. I, I learned a whole sentence. So when we are done, I'll, I'll, I'll combine and then give you a sentence. But uh, I learned it yesterday, thanks to my new teacher, Joyce, who uh, I learned some sign language from yesterday. Happy belated birthday to Miss Danielle, uh, whose birthday it was yesterday. Uh, God bless. And all of you are celebrating your birthdays. Happy birthday to you as well. Um, Saturday was Dajo um, of Aquefe in the water region. Was a um, and happy birthday to you. Okay. My guests, I don't know their birthdays, but I do know that uh, they are happy to be here every Tuesday. Dr. Eric Odro Osai is the Director General of the Internal Audit Agency. And Professor John Koku Mauto is the Dean for the School of Graduate Studies, UPSA. Have you celebrated your birthdays already? Or this month is your birthday? Oh, yes, I have done mine already. Which month? April. April, okay. Yes, and, uh, Prof? I'll be in July. July. Oh, great, great men are born in July. Great men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure April people will say the same thing as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> I saw that the agency in the news a couple of days ago. Um, yeah. Tell me about that. Basically, um, we are inaugurating audit committees for all the district assemblies and the regional coordinating councils. Because it came to our notice that most of them are operating without audit committees. And if you don't have an audit committee, it means we don't have our ears and eyes on the ground. Mm -hmm. The internal data is left alone. And it's a big corporate governance act. And it's a violation of the Public Financial Management Act. So between yesterday and uh, the 13th of June, I have teams on the field inaugurating audit committees for all 261 assemblies and 16 regional coordinating councils. Okay. So that we are putting the structures in place to make sure that we keep our eyes on the money from the base. Why did it take so long for you for these committees to be inaugurated? Uh, it is the constitution or the composition process because... It is made up of five members, two from the Institute of Chartered Accountants, mm -hmm. one from the Internal Audit Agency. And um, the nomination process uh, would have to go through vetting and all of that to make sure that we have the right people in there. So between the two institutions, I think we delayed. But assemblies were ready with their nominees, because their nominees are normally the presiding member and the chair of the FNA or any other person. So that was what delayed, uh, because some existed without audit committees between one and two months. And that is dangerous in the life of an organization without an audit committee. In fact, it is an offense under Section 98 of the PFM Act to operate without a, uh, an audit committee. So with the constitution now, we are waiting for the second quarter internal audit report. That will give us a fair idea of what happened to the finances of the Republic of Ghana within the period that they operated without audit committees. All right. Prof. Moto. So what's, what's new at uh, UPSA? What, what, what should we be excited about? Yeah, um, UPSA is ready for our first uh, uh, student for the PhD in accounting. Oh, okay. Wow. Currently, we are the second uh, university mm -hmm. in Canada that has a program in PhD in accounting. Mm -hmm. So we'll be mounting our first program. Um, students will start um, their lessons by um, August. So Is it distance learning? Or you have no, 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 no. I mean, it, it's, it's a hybrid of... Um, um, both and, and, and virtual, because uh, we have we have we have a number of uh, lecturers who um, are foreign faculties, and some of them teach life uh, from their respective uh, destinations. So uh, we have this flexibility of of delivering uh, both in person and virtual uh, uh, lessons okay. for our students. Yeah, should be cool. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Doc, is your doctorate in accounting? <laughs> no, political economy. I think we, we, recommend, we highly recommend the PhD in accountancy for you. Oh, oh definitely. It will happen. Eh? It will, it, it, it will it happen. happen. Uh, 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 except that, it is, so by the nature of our public administration system or national governor, yeah. even if you have a PhD in accounting, you mm -hmm. still have to go and do the ICA to become exactly. a professor. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That makes you an accountant. That I mean, I mean, an accountant. So, even so, so if you had one, you would be doctor, doctor. <laughs> That is so, but I, I really don't want to talk about that. In Germany, they actually, if you have two PhDs, they put it no. there. They insist that you should be called doc, doc, doctor, doctor. No, my, my supervisor, I had a supervisor who was at the University of Cape Coast who supervised me. He's called Doctor Doctor Nanagati. Okay. okay. He had two PhDs. Okay. okay. And you must know. And, and, and you have to mention the Doctor Doctor. <laughs> so anytime I present my work for review, I said Doctor Doctor, I have come. He said yes. You are now addressing me. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Good to have you all here. A uh, couple of brief headlines. 
The Ghanaian, who well, was Daybreak, Daybreak says Chinese gold dealer jailed 15 years. Ghanaian Times, COVID-19 cases increase yeah. after safety yeah. protocol relaxation. Two soldiers and two others arrested for shooting and injuring victims on disputed land, and police arrest seven suspected robbers. Daily graphic, don't monetize political party campaigns. Governments and banks to finance you start businesses. Motorway reconstruction begins August, says the minister. Promoting small-scale mining gold processing machines unveiled. Device to recover 90% gold. And father in money ritual case remanded. And I want to start with that because that is a story that has gripped the imagination of the entire nation. And the page 20 of today's Daily Graphic reports that the 47-year-old businessman who allegedly attempted to use his daughter for rituals to get rich has been remanded by the district court in Accra, Domestic Violence and Victim Support Unit. This is to enable prosecution to con conduct further investigations into the matter. After he had been provisionally charged with preparation to commit crime to wit murder, his plea has been reserved by the court presided over by Ama Aduma Kwa Chin. The court also ordered the police to allow the suspect's lawyer to have access to him on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So today he'll be, his lawyer will be having access with him. He's to reappear on June 20 this year. Uh, break this down for us, uh, Dr. Osai, because I know you're a lawyer as well. Uh, what does it mean when they say you've been remanded to conduct further investigations? Thank you very much. Um, under our Criminal Offences Act, the offence of murder is, is uh, attracts a fair, is a, a fair degree felony. So, um, but nobody well, was killed. No, nobody was killed. But mm. under Section Forty Eight, attempt to commit murder is a crime okay. under our Criminal Offences mm -hmm. Act. And if you are found guilty, it's a fair degree felony. Mm -hmm. What it means is that you can be killed, or depending on what the judge would say, um, because you can be killed or jailed. No, you, jail, jail is not an option. Oh, for murder. murder is... For murder, jail is not an option. Oh, and unless it is, life? unless it is committed to manslaughter, then uh, then you can go for life or twenty five. By murder, years. no. Murder, no. I mean, that's 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 the law. But do we still execute people in Ghana? Do we? Do we still execute people? We. Th there, it's still in our statute books, but you know, before execution can take place, you need the head of state mm. to sign, mm. and um, be, uh, I, I'm not sure any. <laughs> In long At run. least in the Fourth Republic. Yeah. Yes, so, so attempting uh, to commit murder is tantamount to also murder. Definitely, attempt. The, the offence is attempt to commit murder, mm -hmm. and it is provided for under Section Forty Eight uh, of our Criminal Offences Act. I see. You know. So, and because of the penalty that goes with it, which is um, by death, they would have to take their time to go through. The, the trial. Okay. So first, you will be remanded, and the remand is in his own interest, because it has generated public interest. Exactly. And if you are released, anybody can do anything yeah. to you. Though yes. we are a law-abiding country. But why is inside there? Is he not also at risk of the people? Who is being um, when you are remanded, it will depend on where they would um, send you to. You can be remanded in police custody, mm -hmm. or you can be remanded in prison custody. Mm -hmm. I don't know that when it is police custody, you are in the custody of the police. But then if it is a prison custody, you have to be sent to a prison facility. So Ghana prisons will keep you. They, 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 they will keep, keep you. you. Uh -huh. And then where they keep you, that is their business. But it is in their own interest to keep you in safe and sound environment to allow you to appear for trial. Now, when they say uh, his plea has been reserved by the court, what does mm -hmm. that mean? It means his plea has not been taken. When you are charged or you are accused of an offense and you go to court, they will ask you, are you guilty or not guilty? You can say not guilty or you can say I'm guilty. That would depend or that would guide the court how to proceed. But if the judge decides not to take your plea or um, arrest your plea or reserve your plea, it means they want you to get in touch with your lawyer so that you come in with the appropriate plea because the plea would guide the court as to how to approach the case. Assuming you plead guilty mm -hmm. of the offense of attempting to commit murder and murder, that makes the court case easy. They, they know the forum to take you to for the trial. Mm -hmm. But if you plead, uh, you plead not guilty, then it, they have to go through the full trial. Okay. But if your plea is reserved, it means we are giving you an opportunity 
to con to contact or have conference as we call it with your no. lawyer okay. before you enter your plea because the plea de determines a lot of things and we want to be fair normally such things the court would want to be fair to everybody mm. as part of the human rights issues you have to give him an opportunity to have contact or conference with his lawyer before even entering the plea so well, i agree with the court why can't the lawyer see his uh, client every day well, why has it been reserved why has access been restricted just tuesdays and thursdays access will be reserved uh because the investigation process has not been completed so maybe on the days that you cannot see your lawyer they may take you to an outside location okay. or a place where they will gather further and better particulars. So because of the investigation process, you may not have access to the, the client every day. And it will even be a laborious and a lot of work for the lawyer to be having access to the client every day because the lawyer has other cases mm. to do, you know. Okay. Mm. Now, in this case, um, who will be... Murder cases or theft cases are the state versus social, so is that correct? Definitely, it's a criminal case. So who will be arguing the case for the state? The, the attorney general. Okay. The attorney general. And normally the attorney general may allow the police to start the prosecution. But in certain cases, you get the attorney general, office of the attorney general, prosecuting it up to the end. Because it is an offense against the state. And an offense against the state is always the republic versus the gentleman. What role does spirituality, spiritualists, and, and, and money rituals have to play in our our, our law? Are there any laws covering? Um... We don't. We don't. We don't. The, the, the law does not recognize spirituality. I have to say, uh, there is no provision in the law that says that when when you are spiritually possessed and you commit a crime is a defense. No, we we look at the rule of the game is evidence, and the assumption is that every human being must do the right thing, and you have you should be in the right frame of mind. If you really want to enter into any you want to come in with any defense you can say that i was not in my right frame of mind that is more acceptable but even with that you would have to prove it so spirituality has no place in law money rituals there's a law the law cover uh, does it see it as an offense no i mean money money rituals are not mentioned in our law but any activity that goes to affect human dignity through the money ritual business or any other thing that you do, you have offended the law. Yeah. So money ritual has no place in our law. It, it has no place in, in, in our societal advancement. No, I mean, it's, 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 it's lazy. It's a lazy approach. And I think it's, it's, it's some people's imagination that they will be able to get rich within the shortest possible time. And I, I see it as a lazy approach to get into the top. It's, it, it has no place in society, and no, I'm, I'm yet to see anybody who has been fabulously rich by going through money ritual. I mean, look at the top 100 rich men in the world. Which of them does money rituals? Which of them does money? It's only in Africa that we value some of these things. And I'm saying here and now that it is not a good thing. It is, it, it is not sustainable. It is not part of our society. People should not... Uh, praise it. It is not good. We should all condemn it. And those who do it must bow their heads in shame. Without prejudging this case, <laughs> what do you think as a lawyer would be the role of the herbalist in this particular case? Um, he he, he aided and abetting. So but, even though he allegedly arrested the guy and handed him over to the police, he made the police to answer? It will depend on how the investigation goes. Uh, because Though he supported the police to arrest um, the gentleman, if additional investigations suggest that he's complicit one way or the other, why not? They can ask him to uh, answer some questions. But I see him as the first um, prosecution witness for the uh, prosecution. Mm. So he may be the first person to be put in the dock as a witness to the state. But if investigation proves otherwise... Uh, uh, then the the, the 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 prosecution will decide on what to do. It, everything depends on investigations. We, we, before I come to Professor Mato, will, will this fact be uh, germane to the case? I'm reading from today's graphic, and it, I, I quote: "The prosecutor said on May 29th, Nana Fusu um, took the suspect to uh, Nana Edubwa Edubwa Junior. Nana Edubwa Junior is the herbalist." Mm -hmm at Oyibi Kong for money rituals. Nana Edubuafu Jr. agreed to do the money rituals for the suspect and directed the suspect to buy a live python from, some, from someone in Kasua to be used for the rituals. It's when this father 
said he was afraid of snakes, and that is when um, the the spiritualist suggested a human sacrifice for money ritual. So the spiritualist, if these facts are correct, has actually implicated himself. Well, that is if, if you suggest that sort of human sacrifice should be done, who 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 is who is being killed? Well, you see, if if what is reported mm -hmm. in the Times graphic a graphic mm -hmm. uh, is the same statement that the herbalist gave to the mm -hmm. police. Then he has incriminated himself. He, not in, uh, incriminated himself, but he has questions to answer. Has questions to answer. Has questions to answer. Okay. Okay. Now, as a father, as a parent, what, how do you? What, what went through your mind when you listen, you heard this story? I think I think it's 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 not good. Um, it doesn't look uh, good parenting, and uh, it strains the father daughter relationship. You know the way fathers and daughters mm. are. And I'm, I'm very close with my daughter. I don't think he was really close. I mean, for him to be asking the wife when the daughter was born, uh, and, I didn't even and, know the date. And, 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 and I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Because fathers and their daughters, mm -hmm. I can tell you, 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 mm -hmm. don't, you don't joke with them. You know, yeah. the guys goes with their mothers, and we, we, we go with <laughs> our speaking of experience. I don't have any daughters. So <laughs> well, I don't, anyway, I don't I'm have as, the privilege. As, as, oh, you, you, privilege of that kind of relationship. You will definitely get one. I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, so... At my advanced age. So... <laughs> You know, you know, so so you know the attachments and the love and the care and 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 everything that you you would have with your daughter. Yeah. If after everything, you would want to sacrifice her for money ritual, then it means there's something fundamentally wrong with you. And I think they should conduct a psychiatric test on the mom, on the daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Prof. Walter, you've been listening to all yeah. the, the legal definitions, but uh, for you as a as a concerned citizen, as a father. Um, member of society following this story I mean what were the red flags for you what what have you learned from the story it's unfortunate uh, it's, it's it's really pathetic that mm. uh, we, we 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 still have people believing in 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 I mean acquiring wealth through some of this means but once again the system allows it until recently people were you know brandishing uh, all sort of uh, money on our uh, respective screens um, bring a certain amount of money for it to be doubled for you. Mm -hmm. This is the consequences if you don't allow the law to work. We all know that money is printed and distributed by BOG. So sometimes I wonder how the spiritual thing works. I don't know. Probably it, it happens, but I don't know how it works. Whether the spiritualists have their own uh, bank that prints the money for them <laughs> or, and, and then get them distributed. I, I don't know because you see we have the same amount of money circulating the system any money that comes is, is, is uh, uh, probably uh, um, uh, what do you call it uh, is it the, 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 uh, the, the, the fake money yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, counterfeit. Counterfeit. counterfeit counterfeit okay if it's counterfeit those people know that they have committed crimes so I don't know whether the spiritualists also have uh, uh, an yeah, original yeah, yeah. and authentic means of printing money for you if you believe in just uh, shedding blood for them to translate into money. I just can't... Why don't they give it to their family members <laughs> so that everybody in their village will overnight be rich? I mean, that's the most reasonable thing do to do. Do you think it's a, a, it's a cover, it's a front for maybe it's a trade in, in human organs or, or, or probably, something? Probably, probably, because I... I because just, there's no it sense doesn't, it, I, I'm, I've been battling the logic of... Perfect. I mean, how does it work? Look at the, 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 the ritualists. His they are abort. Right? I mean, they are conditioned. They are residences. Nothing to write home about. Even you going to present your problem, you could even see that because if I want uh, uh, some solution from uh, uh, Doctor Sai, I look at Doctor Sai's uh, uh, presence and 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 his, his condition, whether he has what it takes mm. to to help me. Yeah. This ritualist don't depict or demonstrate anything that shows that he can help me. So I I, I always question as to how they create those monies for you. You know, it is, it is not real until somebody tells me, and I'm here to hear. That um, 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 somebody's telling us that this money came from some spiritual sources for which they are spending. And I don't know where the, the, the money will be coming from. That's unfortunate. But it, it once again tells us the stage where we find ourselves. Today we don't question people's work. Because we're growing up. Until I started working. Even, even, uh, even when I started working, my sister could easily... Ask me, where did you get the money to buy A, B, C, D? But today, do we do the same? You know, I just mentioned my sister. Coffee, you, you, uh, you, you need to have uh, experience, uh, experience the, I mean, the girl child. You know, I have four strong girls. Wow. I'm telling you, it's a special feeling. 
Yes, yes. 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 Uh, it's special. Uh, so I was. Yeah, you're making me jealous now. I'm telling you, you, you better have. <laughs> should, one. We, should we organize an exchange? Exchange. Exchange. You, 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 you better no, have. Just a kind of an exchange trip. Uh, I'll, I'll bring two of my boys over, and then you, you bring me one. Yes. For, <laughs> God gave me one. Yes. Wow. Yes. And 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 they, they they make you feel proud as a father, and 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 you you, you feel proper love. You know, the, the, the women are special. Okay. And you need to have, and, and my sister will always question me as to what, where I got a particular thing. Even you buy a new shoe, you wanted to, she want to know where you got the money from. But we ask these days. These are some of the things promoting some of these things. Now, our society has also gotten to the stage where people want to get rich overnight. Mm. We just want to get rich overnight. We are not preaching the values that makes you rich. To be rich, it's about working. Get the work to do. I mean, create a profession. Get your a, a career going. You can't get rich overnight. People spend beyond their means and later trying to cut corners. And 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 and, and <laughs> you know, if you start consulting some of these ritualists, it means you, you you just want to cut corners to get rich mm -hmm. overnight. These are things that you shouldn't tolerate. Look. Until somebody t convinces me, I don't. I don't think there's any ritual money anywhere. Oh, yeah. It it is just another means of probably counterfeiting, uh, uh, printing money to to, 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 to issue out, uh, and, and and people should not be convinced by what 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 uh, we, we watch in, in the Nigerian movies and all that. Indeed, if if really. Oh, oh this, yes, this, oh this, yes, this yeah. But, but you know, you, if you watch, started ten, from there. Yeah. If you watch ten Nigerian movies, about eight of them are ritual money movies. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, so, so that is why. Does it beg the question, gentlemen, yeah. about yeah. Um, regulation of content, television content? Because now there's an explosion of digital channels. You, you, you. Any of the boxes that you buy, you put it on, and you have a thousand and one channels. Yeah, most of them are church people. Yeah broadcasting their sermons then you have these healings then you have these money doublers mm -hmm. call 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 <laughs> and then 100 will become 200 thousand will become 2000 and it's on there it's on there is it in the in the, in, in the name of free speech and freedom to of, of uh, whatever the freedom is that we've allowed these things to happen and the regulators are just sitting there i'm thinking of national Com uh, uh, communication authority i'm thinking of national media commission who is giving these people these licenses? Who is allowing all this content to come on? Who is messing up with the minds of the children? But, okay, I think uh, maybe um, uh, Senior will take the legal aspect of it. Okay. But I think with the money doublets, uh, one of the, the, the things that uh, Dan Parry did when he came, so those ones have been discouraged. You hardly will watch television and people tell you to come and then bring one CD and let it be doubled. I'm going to ask my viewers. <laughs> yes. That, that please, please scan your your your, your, your networks and yeah. and if you see any 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 channel that is doing this doubling thing, let us know. Name the channel for us, yeah. Yeah. okay? Because I have a feeling that they are still there. Probably. But our viewers will do that for us. No, they are. They yeah, are. There. They are. The doublers are there. And, and I think the institutions of state that should review some of this content and prevent them from airing are also not doing their yeah. work. No, they're not. Yeah. They are not doing their work because once you see that they are going into an area that will create problems for society, block them. Block them. Prevent yeah. them from airing these things because it affects the youth and it affects our generation. Um, Ghana belongs to the future. We are about, I mean, exiting. Uh, but the future Ghanaians are very important and we have to protect them. And we can only protect them with good ethical values that would help them become good people. So I think state institutions must review contents of these things that are broadcasted. We cannot learn uh, foreign practices or import foreign uh, practices blindly into this country. Ghanaians, by our nature, have sound ethical values which is the envy of a lot of people. You go to the East African parts of Africa and they respect Ghanaians. Why? Because Serious. of Kwame Nkrumah yeah. and the things that they know we stand for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you are watching GTV Breakfast. We've been talking about the case of the money ritual chap, uh, father in the money ritual case remanded, and uh, he will reappear in court on the 20th of June. His case, his uh, his plea has not been, uh, what's it? Uh, has been reserved. His plea has been reserved. It's, it's on the bench. 
Yeah, uh, it will play later on. 20th mm -hmm. June, we'll find out from him. His lawyer has been given access to him uh, for Tuesdays and Thursdays. I can imagine that today he'll be having a conference with his client and on Thursday as well. We'll keep you up to date. And of course, if you missed that interview that Daryl Alan Tego, our colleague, had with the mother of the girl who was going to be allegedly uh, sacrificed for money rituals, go to our Facebook page, look for Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, click on videos and the... The, the video will come up. It's got tens of thousands. Ching ching, around over 80,000 people have watched that video um, last time I saw. And go check it out for yourself and tell us what you make of the conversation that Daryl had with the lady. Now, this one should concern all of us because Ghanaian Times is reporting that COVID-19 cases have increased after safety protocols were, were relaxed. And uh, we have current data, 370 active cases. It's coming up on your screen pretty short. It's there now. Mm -hmm. 161,795 confirmed cases, 62 new cases, 1,445 deaths. And we've got recoveries and discharges, 159,980. Dr. Patrick Kuma Abwaji um, has been making comments um, about this. So, Greater Accra region is beginning to see increased COVID 19 cases. And um, so, it's Eastern region is also following with 29 cases, uh, Greater Accra had 317, Eastern 29, Western 11, Western North 5, Volta 3, Bono 2, Bono OT, Savannah, one active case each. And so this is the uh, latest information that we have from the Ghana Health Service. And so far, they've conducted over 2.4 million tests since the outbreak of the disease in March 2020 with a positivity rate of 6.6%. .6 um so that you can get a full breakdown in today's uh, Guardian times and uh, they are imploring us to strongly observe covid-19 safety precautions in order to avert a spike in the country's cases uh prof Marto, what are the protocols like on campus okay so what are the rules when you, when you come into class what are you supposed to do all right so probably before answering that uh, it, the, the, the numbers confirms mm -hmm. the the, the fact that there's the, that correlation between the, 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 the weather conditions and then the, 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 the infection, I mean the virus. Mm -hmm. um, currently, we relaxed, we relaxed the uh, protocols after the president's pronouncement, but we still have um, our Veronica buckets all around. And, uh, and people, in fact, unconsciously, people are still doing it. People mm -hmm. are still washing their hands. Mm -hmm. Personally, I, I always say that... Um, uh, for some years now, it was until the year 2020, for a whole year, I never suffered from cold. Mm. I was so particular with hygiene, I washed my hand, in, I mean, if, uh, any opportunity at all. At any given instance, I washed my hand, I sanitize wherever I find myself. Then I, 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 I realized the benefit of keeping to the principles of good hygiene. And I think we shouldn't, we, 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 sh we, we shouldn't discontinue what we are doing earlier. It tells us that, look, you may not have to visit the hospital, any health center, if indeed you take your principles of hygiene seriously. And that is what I think Ghanaians have gone back again. We, were, we, were, we, 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 we had defeated uh, uh, COVID-19 in our, in, in our environment. However, once there was a pronouncement from the president and everybody went back to what they do, I think we need to go back to... Um, the, the principles and the protocols once again. It tells you that COVID is still with us. Um, um, uh, the last time I wanted to buy uh, a nose mask, mm -hmm. I roamed about three different shops. I couldn't get some until I got to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the masks have gone off the market? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. They're they not in the market. I just got one from our camera. I, 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 bought, I bought it from, I think, a filling station or so, one of the masks there. Mm -hmm. It tells you that um, people... Have, have, have ceased using, I mean, observing the protocols, but I think, but what I do is that whenever I'm going to any area with, I mean, large numbers, I try to put it, uh, on. Put it on, and I always, I still have my hand sanitizer in my car. Whenever I shake people, I sanitize my, my hands, mm -hmm. even though um, 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 it took it took some time for me to realize that I have to I have to shake. You know, Daniel's mm -hmm. like shaking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we missed that for like a year. Yes, and then the finger snap. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> we like shaking. Yeah. You snap. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the.
that person. Yeah, you know? yeah. And then you go to the bathroom and you, you pee with somebody and you finish peeing and then the yeah. person leaves and you're wondering, man, this guy is going to be wanting to shake me uh, in a couple of minutes. You know? I'll just nod. I'll just nod and say, yeah, good morning. Like a Japanese. Yeah. You become an instant Japanese. Yeah, yeah. But we, we like shaking hands. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I, I think, I think that, that is even more dangerous. Mm -hmm. and that, that's the main reason why we should continue to observe the protocols. Um, we, we should... Um, um, get back to the hand washing mm -hmm. and also use the nose mask when we are going to large you know crowds um, if you are to meet people in large crowds <laughs> if you are using a public transport let's 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 protect ourselves because once this thing starts spreading you know what is happening in north korea today mm -hmm. they, 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 their numbers are ballooning i mean they, they, when, when when the whole world was suffering because they, they were they were practicing the closed economy system they didn't they didn't feel it because they, they didn't have foreigners going into the country by then and as soon as two people got infected you know how it's, it, it's, it's right. escalated mm. it, it has spread all over the, um, uh, and south, south korea is facing the same problems because just just this weekend the football match they played between brazil the entire stadium was masked wow the entire stadium was masked, apart from the, uh, the, the players they're not playing those who were playing were those who were on mass, but the entire stadium was mass. And I was, I was, I was still in the, in the era of COVID. But going back to read what is happening there, the numbers have started increasing again. It tells you that whenever the weather changes, there's that. I mean, scientists have come out to tell us that look, there is that direct correlation between the uh, the weather and the virus. The virus normally will spread during cold the cold weathers and and it will also interest you to do that the, the, even the west the european countries are preparing for it because the numbers normally increases during the time of uh, winter when the weather is cold and, and and the virus could easily spread so i think where we've got into Ghanaians should go back to the protocols let's observe the protocols when i'm going to, when, when i'm joining people in large crowds let's let, let, let's mask up and then keep keep your hand sanitize your hand whenever you shake people now the shaking is becoming too much everybody wants to shake you <laughs> everybody wants to shake you and, and, you and sometimes i i feel like everybody nervous but you have to because it's then do the fist bump man it's a culture this, this you know, people don't like it no no but do it you, you, if you are shaking people don't like it if you are shaking if you are, bring your hand like you are shaking my hand no, no, and then, then i'll do this no if you yeah, 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 people, yeah. people, yeah. people don't feel comfortable you you, you 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 using the you know the no blue. no no I will have to fist bump you <laughs> or you or preempt him by coming with a fist bump first <laughs> yes <laughs> preempt the guy yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah. for your own safety yeah. it's for yeah. my safety yeah. Yeah. yeah but it's a culture thing <laughs> Change thing. Culture, like. No, no. Why should we change the culture? Back because then, of they used to cut people's heads off <laughs> when kings died. Now we don't. So, so we can change the culture. We can. You know, we can change the culture. Our culture is to fact, shake we, you we, and we, we, you. we are not changing. We have. We can modify. Modify for the, the culture. Better. Your hand is still there, but now the fingers are closed, <laughs> and it's a fist bump. You know, like that. <laughs> President Obama popularized this face bump thing. Yeah. We can also use it for COVID. Yeah, it's a COVID so. handshake. I think so. Oh? I think so. <laughs> Doc. I, 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 I think um, all heads of institutions would have to up their game by way of getting people who enter their premises as well as staff within the organization to continue to observe the safety protocols mm -hmm. because it has started. And like uh, Prof. Mauto said, uh, the virus thrives in cold weather. And because it has started raining, we should expect some of these things. But the good thing is that we're already used to masking. So let us continue to mask in public places, reducing the hand, let us reduce the handshake and do the, the hand bumping. And then also, uh, let us continue to wash our hands and then keep our social distancing protocols. Uh, uh, we should all bear in mind that we are in this together. And um, if we are not able to manage it as of now, it's likely to create problems for us into the future. Okay, you're watching GTV Breakfast. My guests are Dr. Odron Asai and Professor Mauto. And we're looking at the news headlines, uh, the money ritual conversation, COVID, and uh, matters arising. And uh, talking of matters arising, uh, Valerie has risen to the challenge of reading the messages and she will be coming in pretty soon to <coughs> read your warm messages to us <laughs> valerie greetings <laughs> greetings greetings <laughs> greetings yes. Kath, to you and your gentlemen so tonya dom says that the man sending his daughter 
Matthew Richwell has spoiled the incoming Father's Day. <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. <laughs> he says, um, this is from Alaji Hamza, pick from. <clears throat> For God's sake, what at all is going on in this country and who is to be blamed? My brother, we see all these ritualists on TV sets advertising their works and some even on large billboards and nothing happens. Who is in charge to make sure all this does not happen? This is affecting the youth and it is affecting our country. And the earlier something is done about it, the better it is becoming one too many. <clears throat> good morning, GTV BFS. Keep up the good work. Thank you for that. He says, good morning. Kafui, we are all these... So far, the messages you are getting out for the... Um, the Ritual. The yeah, it's a big alleged story. He says, yeah, good morning, yeah. Kafui. Yeah. Maybe the spiritualist has chopped so much money from the man <laughs> and decided to frame him by this action from Alaji. <laughs> Alaji is coming in from Ashaiman and um, Ni Alui Kobla says, I remember a KNK seller marked me home to find out whether I was sent with a 10 CD note. CD Jato, I'm saying this because of the comment made by the man from UPS. We are no more questioning the source of monies in our homes, communities and society. Ban the money doubles on TV and radio. Hashtag GBC Morning Show. Thank you. And Zakaria will not read this message and you know why. You're watching us live from Cape Coast. He says, Laugh the Manaka Fui speaks very slowly and slowly to the hearing of the masses. I hope you have advised him. Thanks, Ken Gatti. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm normally a very fast speaker, you know. I see. Yeah, I speak very well. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. slow. Yeah. Yeah. Down. Okay, I'll take a cue from that. I'll take a cue from yeah. that. <laughs> Nelson, good morning. Please, money ritual is, is, is a taboo in our motherland, Ghana. It is. And I think the man is not a Christian. He needs to be anointed from this act. Okay. <coughs> Trisha is saying, good morning, beautiful family. A very handsome and astute panel. The law will handle that unfortunate incident of the ritual case. I pray justice is served. I always get worried when I watch Alan and Jay intervene people. Corona is not gone. Thank you, Trisha. And Daniel is saying corruption is responsible for money ritual. Equity will stop money ritual practice. Government should share money to people in need. And that's coming in from Daniel. Who we'll have their twist? Who we'll have their twist? On. Hey, my people are great, man. HIM is saying what actually happened to this man overseas? We always think traveling abroad is the best way to make money. Yeah, so why will he return yeah. home empty-handed and decide to sacrifice his own daughter for money? This issue should be investigated properly. Jahapa is saying this from Kaswa. Thank you, Trisha. Trisha says, Val, you look amazing. Musa from Abatoa. <clears throat> um, why is Akufuado and Baumia? not read this message musa this is gtv please keep your language very savory no insults here a pleasant tuesday to our panelists and their exceptional submissions they keep giving ghana thanks to gtv breakfast and that's coming in from Burma designs and if you see any national service messages please read them because there are, there's a story of natural service then that's yeah. one yes. okay read then i'll go me. back to that yes okay as so as now to, <laughs> right so now to my little submission on the money ritual case king calf and I understand why the saying goes, too much of everything is bad. Just because the man had 12 children, he thought it twice enough to sacrifice some. Would he have sacrificed any if he had none? <laughs> Long there. They also believe the herbalist should join the man in there. Kaf, I'm looking for the message. Yes, when it comes, just read it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Kaf. Mm -hmm. The abroad man going to use a daughter for money has given us a good confidence in the Ghanaian economy. Maxwell from Barry, please explain yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Isa is saying that. Good morning to you in your studio. Good morning. All this caused by social media and movies on TV. The government has to ban them all from TV, ETC. The spiritual man should be arrested too. Jack Mata says that um, perhaps there's money counting machine in the belly of the python. That is perceived to vomit the money. If not so... Then money rituals are fake. Thank you, Jokwata. Uh, Aji Dauda is saying, Dr. Eric Odro, can you find out from your district assembly audit team if there's need to reintroduce employing laborers as staff? This is from Alaji Dauda Medina Estate. Kafui, and this is from John B.K. Amoa. Kafui and the panelists, good morning. This ritual father in the news is a disgrace to fathers. All the same, on 
2022. Mother's Day was deserving, was deserved, well deserving celebrated. Unfortunately, come June 19, 2022, it's Father's Day, but that is not being mentioned. Fathers are heads of families, and I think they should be recognized and celebrated. Please let us not forget that attached is a letter. Okay. We will not open that, but yes, so we are going to celebrate fathers. We see your number, so we'll open that off air and then we'll get back to you. Um, Yusra Clothing is saying, sometimes when I walk through the streets of Medina and I see these banners of spiritual men and women, it baffles me. More messages coming in on that part. Nana Ekumwa from Ablekuma Central is saying good morning calf what happened to the directives the information minister gave to those media who advertise money rituals on their sets thank you Ekwama, for sending this message calf i think that's all from my corner that's all from the message board calf okay i was looking for that one on nss yes um, I'll, I'll read a story and then we'll, we'll have a chat on that okay so i'll come okay. and look for it then yes indeed and please thanks thanks a lot valerie and for those uh, please send me okay. i want to know the stations that are, are, are broadcasting these these uh, doublers okay money doublers I, I saw one day i was in my hotel room ah, uh, uh, and, and i was just looking at I couldn't believe it. The guy was saying, no, bring 100, you get 200. 500, you get 1,000. Oh, people have done it. People have done it. Then the number was going. The number was just flowing. Blah, 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 blah. I said, what's going on here, man? What's going on? So, yeah, please. Uh, uh, I need to know. Okay, so we can send a nice communique to the, the, the regulator. Say, look, guys, these are the people who are doing it. If they are not monitoring the channels, monitor them for, 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 for them. And let us, let, us, let us do something about this. We've got to just go beyond talk. Action. And we, the citizens, can actually force action to be taken. We can. You know, if we show enough concern mm. and have enough voices, mm. things that is how things happen. Yeah. When people come together around a particular cause and make their voices heard. So it's not yeah. just about complaining and mm. wishing the government should, should do, do, do something. Where is the president? Where is the government? You are the government also. You can press things to make things happen. Okay, yeah. and this is really important. So yeah. I need to know those channels. Take snapshots, please, and send it to us. Plenty. It's a, calf. it's a criminal offense under the criminal offenses. Tell me about obscenity. it. If you publish or sell uh, obscene materials, um, you and you are found guilty. Um, the offense is misdemeanor, huh? and it's a serious offense. So okay. it, it is. It is not as if we don't have laws. We have laws. So state institutions must be up and doing. They, okay. should, they should review this content and make sure that those content do not affect the values of Ghanaian society. Okay. It's important. And those who grant them permits, we should we, we, we should monitor. You see, our monitoring system is not working. If the monitoring system was working, like FDA is going about their things, yeah. FDA once you start uh, advertising something without FDA is approval, they'll pull it down. Mm -hmm. They'll cause it to be pulled down, or you'll be fine. I want the appropriate institution to start reviewing the content of these things that are screened on air. Or on TV, mm -hmm. so we'll be able to start pulling it down. They should start telling Ghanaians that we saw that you had this A, B, C, D, and the content is not good for Ghana, and we have pulled it down. Once they do it to one, two, three TV stations, they will they, 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 they will be able to resolve the issue. And I also think that um, we should stop giving licenses to these um, so-called mushroom churches mm -hmm. owning TV stations. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, politicians, well, some politicians can use their TV stations, but those mushroom churches, spiritual leaders who own TV stations of their own, we should, we should, we should start reviewing the licenses that we give to some of yeah. these people because yeah. some of them are not using it for the intended purpose. And you are expected to use it to educate, inform, and advance development. These are the three things must, that should happen. But if it is not happening, then they are not using it for the intended purpose. Pull it down. Pull it down. Uh, that's the message from Dr. Osai. And uh, regulators need to be up and doing. 055-556-1034. I'm looking at the trends this morning. And top of the trends has to be um, two words. Togbe Afede. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. For those of you who don't pronounce it well, it's Afede. It's like, you know, you're blowing it. You're trying to get there. You're going to extinguish a candle. So... Don't be afraid. It's trending big time, number one. And we need 
um, a, a, a letter that uh, has come from him uh, concerning some money that was uh, returned. Okay, so to whom it may concern uh, clarification, repayment of ex gratia, there have been various publications and comments recently on my refund of 365,992 CDs, 67 pesos paid into my account, and I wish to provide the following clarification. While working on my tax returns towards the end of last year, I received tax receipts from the Council of State Secretariat that indicated that some money was paid into my bank account in July 2021 ex gratia for my four-year work as a member of the Council of State 2017 to 2020. I applied for and received a statement from my bankers that confirmed that indeed some money was paid into my account. I eventually confirmed from the Council of State Secretary that a sum of 365,392 CDs and 67 pesos was paid into my account as ex gratia. I didn't think to trap me as is being speculated. I believe it was paid to everybody who served at the Council of State. However, I thought that extra payment was inappropriate for short, effectively part time work for which I received a monthly salary and was entitled to other privileges. So I was very uncomfortable with it. After weeks of trying, I obtained advice on how to refund inappropriate payments to the state. And on March 4, 2022, I made the refund to the Controller and Accountant General's Department suspense account at the Bank of Ghana. In my letter to the Secretary, Council of State, I stated that, quote, it was a great honor for me to have served on the Council of State for four years, 2017 to 2020, even though I served as chairman of one of the three committees of the Council of the Economy and Special Development Initiatives Committee and participated fully in the Council's activities. I do not think my work merited the payment to me of a colossal sum of 365,392 CDs and 67 pesos as ex In addition to the salary I enjoyed from what was effectively a part-time job, and that my rejection of the payment was consistent with my general abhorrence of the payment of huge ex and other outrageous benefits to people who have by their own volition offered to serve our poor country. The statement continues. Um, a point seven should be coming up pretty soon, um, unless my screen is on a, a little break. Yeah, so I want to add that my rejection of the payment was consistent with my general abhorrence of the payment of huge ex gratia and other outrageous benefits to people who have, by their own volition, offered to serve our poor country. Okay, so uh, I think that statement ends. Let me just see if I can continue it uh, with you here. Um, and um, so uh, that's it. Signed, Togbo Yapede, the 14th Agbogbo Mafia of Asogli. June 6, 2022. That was uh, yesterday. And so, Togbe, and I confirmed this just to make sure that it was really a legitimate letter because I couldn't find it on his social media. And normally he does a lot of communication on social media. But I spoke to somebody who works closely with him and he confirmed that it was not a, a spoof letter of any sort. He, and so this is uh, uh, Togbe Apede's um, communication on this particular return of an ex gratia amount that was causing a lot of talk. Uh, in our very, very, usually very busy media circles. Um, what do you think, um, as an accountant? <laughs> Returning of s is it the first time this is happening, Ghana, in your memory? Okay, um, um, Kofi, to be frank with you, I, I don't have any problem with mm -hmm. someone working and enjoying some entitlement. Mm -hmm. I don't have any problem with that at all. And let me, let, let me commend um, um, uh, uh, Togby Afede. Um, um, for, 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 for the wonderful that at least has added something to the consolidated fund. Mm -hmm. um, it has rejected <laughs> sums that would have been captured as expenditure mm -hmm. in, 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 in our account. Um, it also tells us that indeed we, we have to take a second look at um, that huge gap between the top, the middle, as well as the lower you know, income earners. There's this huge gap. Look, as a teacher, you teach for over 30 years and there's no way this country will compensate you and, 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 and even celebrate you financially mm. with, with what someone, sorry to say, so I'm, I'm, I'm being particular here, spending only four years, not even full-time job, but part-time, and even they are paid for whatever transportation that you incurred, I mean, whatever I spent you incurred transport, you'll be paid when you attend meetings. Mm. 
right? And within four years, you are richer by almost 350,000 Ghana cities. It was 365. 365,000 Ghana cities. Yeah. For four years. And a Ghanaian teacher will teach over his lifespan and will not get a quarter of that. No, th th that is a painful aspect. That, th that is a painful aspect of it. And it tells you that it is it is systemic. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. And I think there was a day we sat, I mean, on, on the same platform. And I quite remember, I, I espoused that. You see, it's in the interest of the politician to ensure that we have we know the gap between the, between the, the, the top income earners and those who, who sacrifice their entire life. You, indeed, nobody says that parliamentarians are not doing anything. But every four years, we all see. So people are not motivated to become teachers. And, 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 and teaching becomes a part-time job. As soon as they get an opportunity, they move into a short-term uh, venture, which, 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 which will give them more money. Let's do some maths. Let's do some maths. So I, I did a quick maths, and 365,000 CDs divided by the four years, it's like 1,460 days uh, of work. Mm -hmm. um, so that's 250 CDs a day for every single day of the four years yeah. that you serve on the Council of State. So that's one bit of maths. Mm -hmm. Now let us find out how many members sit on the Council of State. Mm -hmm. So the Council of State should include a former Chief of Justice of, of Ghana, that's one. Every region. A former chief of the yeah. defense, sta defense <laughs> staff, that's two. A former IGP, so that's three. And the president of the National House of Chiefs, so that's four. Each region of Ghana has also an elected representative. So we have 16 regions. Yes. 16 plus 4 yeah. is 20. Then the president of Ghana also appoints 11 members. Mm -hmm. So 20 plus 11 is 31. Mm -hmm. And the members of office of the president. Of the president. Ends. So that's 31 members of of yeah. a council of state. If we yeah. should assume that they all receive 365,000 mm -hmm. uh, times 31, mm -hmm. uh, well, you do the maths. Mm -hmm. I know you guys, uh, you have your calculators out there already, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. do the maths and give me the answers, okay? <laughs> so that's a lot of money yeah. um, for four years of work. Yeah. And Toby himself said that it was part-time work. Yeah. And they were receiving monthly salaries as well. Look at it. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Monthly salaries. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Professor, but, yes. Um, <laughs> Have we opened a can of worms with this statement? No, not not at all. Uh, I think we should put it in context. Mm -hmm. uh, Council of State members comes under Article Seventy One, mm -hmm. so it is part of the payment to Article Seventy One office holders. Mm. And before you come into office, you know the conditions of service, and the conditions of service for serving on the Council of State includes a gratuity paid at the end of the service. Yes. And, and your term uh, ends with the term of the president. That, that's yeah. right. So yeah. there's a new term, new council of state that has been sworn that in has been sworn for the in next four years. So what it, what it means, and it, it is not limited to only the council of state, all other Article 71 office holders. Now, um, if your gratuity is maybe four months for each year of service, mm. that was part of the conditions of service and you accepted. What I think we should be doing as a country is that we need an independent emolument committee that would determine both the salaries of public sector workers and Article 71 office holders so that we can do proper harmonization. Because if you have uh, a presidential emolument committee determining the salaries of Article 71 office holders, independence of fair wages and salaries committee, Determine that of public sector okay. wages. The harmonization is not there. So if we can do harmonization, it will help us. But otherwise, I think that, like uh, Prof. Mauta said, um, Togbi Apede said he's refunding it because he abhors the payment of these monies. Yeah. I think it's good. Um, he's donated it to the Republic of Ghana. Yeah. Yes. But that does not rule out the fact that it was part of the conditions of service he accepted. <laughs> Before serving on the Council of States, because that's he knew, that's true. because there is a precedent, yeah, that's you know. True. So, and it, it should not also push others to refund if they feel strongly about it. Okay. But I would have loved that this money that has been refunded can be used to construct something, so that it will go down to history that the three hundred sixty-five thousand that was refunded, that is what has been used to build this school for this community. I want to see that happen. So you, you, you would have <laughs> loved it if Tobi had actually. Announced that my entire ex gratia should have been used to do something. Yeah, I, I, I think if he had announced that, look, I'm constructing a lab for 
uh, University of Health and Allied Sciences Hall, and I want to use this 365,000 as a seed capital for the lab. Okay. All friends to come and contribute. It would have helped. But I, in his own wisdom, mm -hmm. he is a king with the wisdom. Mm -hmm. He thinks that giving it back to the state to the is better because the state yeah. will then have other good uses for the money. Mm -hmm. But that does not rule out the fact that he accepted the conditions of service mm -hmm. to include the fact that he will receive an esgasha at the end of the tenure. Yeah. If I, if I yeah. should interview him, I'll ask this question. Please do. <laughs> Why, <laughs> with respect, uh, he accepted that's right to serve to yeah. serve on yeah. the conditions uh, of service and accepted all the conditions from day one he could have accepted the appointment with a caveat mm -hmm. that i accept to serve on the um uh, council of state but i'm, state, not, in but I'm not interested in because we've had ministers of state in this country oh, yeah. who accepted to serve as yeah. ministers but never collected salaries that's and true. it is on record that's true you know so there's there, there's nothing wrong with that if you write to say that look i want to serve the republic of ghana and that I will not collect salaries or I will not collect the four year S Grasha that will be paid to me. There's nothing wrong with that. But donating it to is also, uh, we should praise him for doing yeah, that. Yeah, because he's, yeah. he's written and it is on record. And yeah. as auditors, we will also follow through and make sure that this money goes into the, uh, the, 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 the right account and used for the intended purpose. Because you need a reversal entry in the books. We want to follow through to see that it has been appropriately reversed in the book. So it doesn't also land somewhere that will create accountability. Because it, it, is, it, it, it can be reversed but land in a different location. Well, in accounting, <laughs> anything can happen. <laughs> you know? so, but he said he paid it into the chest. Uh, in the chest. He gave, oh, he gave, he gave that's them, right. Uh, so uh, so I will expect the bank reconciliation statement. It must reflect. <laughs> it must reflect. <laughs> Otherwise, so everything can happen. Eh? <laughs> but but Kofi, Kofi, it's, it's, it's also interesting to know that, look, ever shared the same board with one of the renowned corporate you know leaders in this country and you know what he did no i think that was on either get fund board or so every month he authorized get fund to send all his entitlement to his former school, La 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 Secondary school. i see every month for the four years a good man he will only drive to meetings and then whatever allowance they are sent to his, uh, 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 his alma mater. Okay. So, so these are things that people do. People, people uh, do. Uh, what, 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 I, I, I think we, should, we, we shouldn't politicize this. Okay. No, I know no, very soon no. people start talking about no. all this. No, it was but, politicized uh, until uh, Toby came up with uh, this clarification uh, uh, because uh, uh, there were there were there were suggestions that it was a trap for him to take no, his money. No, and that, no, was, that was what was no, news. And, he, and he mentioned it in his statement no, yeah. that it was not. It a, was not yeah. a trap. And he gave a kind-hearted yes. person yeah. that, who wants to refund that money mm -hmm. to Ghana because yeah. he thinks that look, Ilevi, we are now accumulating mm -hmm. monies. Mm -hmm. There is this can support one MD or MND. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's a kind-hearted man yeah. who is refunding the money. Okay. Yeah. So that's I want to look at it from that uh, angle. Okay. We shouldn't politicize it. Don't politicize it. And we must also emphasize that there's no criminality here. No. No no no, 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 no. no yes. th these are things we. Yeah, do. there is no criminality because yeah, he is yeah. entitled to it. It's, it's, it's part means. of his conditions of service. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't also. No, 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 no. We can't yeah. also say that those who have not refunded should refund. No, 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 no. no they no, are no, entitled no. to it, and you can decide to refund it or not. It's part of your. Can the public put more pressure on them to just re refund the money because oh. Ghana is poor, <laughs> as Toby said in his statement? No, that, but that 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 would be against their human rights. You know, that would be against their human rights to put moral pressure on somebody to refund something <laughs> that the person is due. No, that, that is against the person's human rights. Yeah. All righty. Versus old national service personnel have been paid. The only outstanding month yet to be paid is the month of May 2020, which will be paid in the middle of June. Then that one is it's not it's not paid. It's not paid. <laughs> they are still owing. He, he explained that it was a tradition of the, of the service secretary to pay service allowances owed the previous month in the middle of the following month, mm -hmm. and that all efforts were underway to facilitate the prompt payment of service allowances for the month of May by June 15. I don't even understand this country we live in. <laughs> Somebody works in May, pay the guy for May. You know, I just don't get it. But that's the information from the national service. Uh, as uh, coordinating secretary, Mr. Andrew Kufo, they don't owe you any money except for me, which will be paid middle of June, 15th of June, which is next week, next week, Wednesday. Oh, oh no, 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 but, 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 but Kaf, if you work in May, won't you be paid in June? <laughs> if you work in May, you earn no, no, salary but, 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 but our salary comes to the end in of the middle of June. No, I work in May, pay me in May. Yeah, but you see, national <laughs> service is different. I'm not holding brief for them. 
but national service is different. Uh, they always receive their national service and pensions. Uh, they receive their money by the 15th middle of the month. Is this that's best practice around the whole world? Well, that's not the best practice, but that's what I have come to know. But truth be told, if you work in May, they pay you in June. We don't like it. <laughs> we, we don't like it. I, we, as a former national service person, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Let me go to uh, another former national service person, uh, uh, who his name is Valerie, and she's going to be speaking to some other former national service people uh, on Twitter. Service person. Uh, <laughs> welcome. I identify with the national service personnel. Yes, 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 yes. Today is World Food Safety Day and it's, it's set aside to draw attention to the need to um, mobilize action on how to prevent, detect um, foodborne diseases. And our guys are already on the ground, like we said. Alan is at the To Do Food Market. And he's going to bring us a, a picture of what the food markets look like and how they are keeping our food safe. Alan, Alan can hear me. He's on our beat. Alan, good morning again. What's happening? Hi, good morning, Valerie. Thank you very much for joining us at the To Do Food Market. Indeed, it's a World uh, Food Safety Day, and so uh, it's only appropriate that we come to this food market to find out how especially the food we eat, whether fresh, processed, or uh, whatever nature they come to us, uh, the way in which they're kept and how they're transported even before they get to our kitchen. Remember, some of these foods are traveled uh, far and wide from all over the country, especially for tomatoes. We're even told some has joined us in Ghana from Burkina Faso. And so um, if you can see right from behind me, uh, what we have is uh, some uh, fresh food. And especially for someone who's uh, recovering from uh, what is suspected to be food poisoning, having eaten uh, fresh cabbages and the rest of them, I, I, I really f uh, got so, hit so hard uh, with uh, what I saw when we arrived here, with some of them being on the bare floor. Not just that, but we also have uh, vegetables such as eggs, we had carrots, we had uh, fresh pepper, uh, we had uh, shallots. Every one of them uh, you can mention was on the floor and it was just uh, on the bare floor with flies all over. And interesting to see how people were also uh, hard at it, uh, trying to uh, make some purchases of these uh, foodstuffs. Uh, some of the women we interacted with uh, told us, well, uh, these uh, foodstuffs come to them in many different ways. And so uh, given that they don't have a good store to pack them in or to put them on display, uh, it is only okay that they're displayed on the floor just as they come to them. And uh, when they receive them or their customers come to get them, it is then uh, up to the customer to make sure that they're thoroughly clean, they're properly uh, processed before they're served to their customers. Uh, indeed, it is the end consumer who uh, is at the mercy of these uh, traders and their customers who come to buy and sell on to them. Uh, I, I really uh, felt somehow, uh, I, I can't explain, I really can't find the words to explain them, uh, knowing that the cabbage or the tomatoes I'm going to eat it's just been lifted off the floor from here. And given the pressure on uh, food vendors sometimes, you wonder whether they have all the time to properly and thoroughly uh, clean them. Regardless of where you eat in Accra, uh, we recently heard how a very well-known uh, food chain or e uh, eatery uh, restaurant, to be precise, uh, served some of their customers something they ate and a good number of them ended up in hospital. It is public knowledge, and so uh, we cannot make excuses for that. But indeed, that is what it is. If uh, a, a restaurant such as that one uh, could serve food, uh, that eventually uh, got their customers uh, suffering from food poisoning, uh, you can only imagine what that would do to the middle uh, sub-seller or the uh, corner uh, joint uh, watch a seller or the banku seller or the uh, 
a pam pam store uh, fried rice and chicken uh, vendor who goes around the uh, uh, office to office uh, trying to flog whatever they ha or they carry or they have uh, over their head uh, to be sold on to us uh, it, it is the world food safety day so um it, it, it is only proper that uh, we visit such places and also caution uh, those food vendors who come to these markets to buy to uh, be sure that at least at a minimum it is service to their customers today we can come and buy from them tomorrow but if we contract food poisoning from these food stuff they serve us then we won't be here tomorrow to uh, uh, buy from them and so again we're pleading with them we're pleading with the uh, uh, food safety authorities the FDA and all who are mandated to ensure uh, the safety of our food to uh, at least at a minimum uh, do well to uh, ensure that these uh, market uh, women or stall holders at least uh, present or package their food in ways that can somehow guarantee their safety to those of us who buy from them and eat from them. This so far has been uh, the look of the market at Tudu, uh, where we visited to bring you some up-to-speed news on food safety and uh, where best, if you like. Uh, to find your fruits and vegetables. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. As always, my name is Daryl Alan Tego. Thank you very much, Valerie, for joining us. Thank you, Alan, for that report. It is World Food Safety Day. So later on on the Yellow Couch, I'll be having a conversation with somebody from the FDA and the person going to talk about food safety and also give us all the updates about where the Mawako food poisoning issue has gotten to guys and um, i'm going to switch off we're going to the tuesday market it's it's due for channel it's somewhere in Manprobi. we are still talking world food safety day and our guy jay is around the due for journal uh, well we have where that jay is setting up so he coming to now, what food safety day is being celebrated in that part in the market? Also, join us and follow all our conversations online on Twitter. We are the GBC Ghana on Instagram. We are GBC online. Facebook is GBC Ghana, and on YouTube, find us as the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. We are still talking headlines, issues that's trending top on the trends. The issue of the alleged murder of the man who was taking who was taking his child to be killed. And Kaf, we have some messages on the screens yes, while we do. wait for Jay. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to take a few messages from Kaf while we wait for Jay with his report from the Tuesday Market Jufo channel. Kaf, hold on with your messages. Jay's back. Jay, what's happening at the market? Thank you for joining us. What's happening, Jay? Uh, thank you so much, Val. Good morning and welcome to the Tuesday market here at Mamprobi. So we're talking food safety, safer food, better health. And uh, where, where we are presently, there's a lot going on. Uh, we're asking questions of, do you know what happens when you buy your food from your local food vendor or maybe perhaps the mall before it gets uh, to your home? From the farmer to the market, then to your homes. So whatever you're consuming, how hygienic is it? We don't want any situation where you go and buy something and later on to cause problems uh, for you. Of course, there are a number of diseases making, our, uh, making the, our, the rounds and we have to be careful of whatever we do. Uh, so then again, most of the times the complaint you get about these markets is the fact that the main one is in there, but people like to cite their shops right at the front because uh, they feel customers don't come towards the main market. So you find a lot of them uh, who are here at the front, but that's a conversation for another day. Some people also wondering why are they close to gutters and stuff like that. So there are a few vendors here I would like to speak to and then try and find out where exactly they, they, the process they go through before the customers take their stuff to the house. Ma, Pacho, good morning all. Good morning. Uh, Pacho, you're from saying? I saw a Okay. Uh, good morning and welcome to Breakfast Show. Uh, Pacho, what do you want to say? Send them up one in to learn. Do I get three cities, five cities, ten cities? 
I'm at down five cities, ten cities. Can't you see a one city, a two city? So she basically just took us through the prices of uh, the various stuff that she's selling. And to my patch, when you're man, who the free infant ever? Yeah, I mean, I can't get in there. Oh, you're on your own. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I can't get someone in by here, be an enemy, me home. Also, she's telling us they bring it from in some warm before it gets uh, to this place. Uh, Pacho in TCC, I say, Obi Baba told when Yamana, Obe room one, and I say, Bisa, and I say, Obe turn the streets, not the coffee now, Koye. A Bahia, Be, an MFA, Be, me who, no, okay, by Manya Maho Female, many who learn more fame on this work where Kabaya Maho Male, Mufem on Bahia Bahale. Thank you. So basically what she's saying is whoever wants to buy the food, they will just sell it to the person. When the person gets to the house, whatever the person decides to do, then they will wash it up and then clean it as thoroughly as uh, possible. Because what it is, man, it's a straightforward thing for her. You just buy it, you take it home, and then you do that. Ah, Ma, good morning all. Good morning. Uh, Mama Esther, uh, Pacho, good morning. Welcome to breakfast. Fine. Uh, Pacho, what's on your mind? I have first this year. What do you feel for never? In two thousand, you are more, you are more different, baby. A bit free bagro, a bit free touchiman, a bit free navlongo, and I wear a bagro on toes. But you say this year, the way more the nyamane ban, no boy koso like a ampa na se. This year, all the friends in the boy edi, a bi a edi boss baku ba. If you want me, I beg you to me, I beg you to me. 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 It is a year conversation around food safety. It is a coffee paper to a yama. Like, it is a umbe to a uber room. I said, we saw, and I said, somebody in the bar. Then the bank process never go through. Yeah, the bar, yeah, 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 it's all better. I'm the coffee. I'm the bed. I'm the room. I said, I'm the bed. And I ain't to me room. So, what I say. So, basically, what she's saying is when people come and then basically take out the, the good, uh, the bad ones, uh, the old ones, the, the ones which are not really meant to be sold to the public, and then they, they, they move the good ones and sell that one. Once you buy the good one and you take it home, then you wash it uh, thoroughly. Uh, Mama Esther, that person will be saying, see, see, uh, markets, no, uh, be, 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 uh, like, be, uh, environments, no, a yama moana, say, like, see, see, and show to a yama moana. They all say, Yah, you done be way inside. Now, yes, we are shed our animal. Nan so need to aye aye wa animal, yah, yah, be vinger. So what I say, I baby or do a more marketing mood, yes, I aye patent to almost shas here. Now, animal marketing, dear, they be out Tuesday, but only puppy bray wa animal. Ne do Wednesday, according to the Nippon in Dorsu. Your chum back, 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 back. This is Tuesday. And a Monday, Monday, the Nippaka crowd wa animal, and a Tuesday, the Nippa be bray. Now, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the Nipa be brain, Yati says, and I should be brain. Thank you so much. So basically, she's telling us uh, usually most of the traffic comes in here on Tuesdays, and on the other days, you don't really find people here buying stuff. And then, because what, what happens is when it rains, uh, there are people who have shelters in the market, but they don't have uh, shelter. So when it rains right now, they, they struggle with uh, the rain at the moment. So they are also pleading that if the authorities can come, but based on the traffic, uh, they believe on Tuesdays, for instance, if they can give them something that may cover them, that will also help them. For now, that's, that's what's not helping them. And so she doesn't really have a lot to complain about when it comes uh, to the environment. Uh, Ma, uh, good morning all. Uh, Pacho Efraim saying? Pacho Efraim Rose. Pacho Efraim Rose. Pacho Auto. Now, Pacho, <laughs> okay, somebody is just saying how hard uh, market the things are and all that. I don't, I didn't have a chance to speak to her, so she, that person was just passing by. Uh, so, when you are who the feeling for now, but Pacho, me the feeling for my case. I'm going to need to run a cost because of petrol need is a price now cost on it. No, I'm not going to need more. I'm going to buy the farm. Fu and Niti and I say and go distribute. Fu and no Hunsu. And I think so this time no Abeni ho. In so to Abeni ho. Yes, I will be able to tell you. I'm a a a damn person. I'm a day. 
Omudi abe, abe no omudi ye. Betu mi dia nkuma fro e ko to mre fro e. E fro Betu mi dia ni ama bebre. Yeah, okay, the, uh, the, the reason I may be saying is uh, like, it's a uh, year conversation around food safety. And then so now we're trying to know, like, how safe is, is it? Oh, when they say, 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 they say. So, uh, speaking to a few of the vendors here, finding out how much they know about food safety, you know, and basically, what she it doesn't take a lot of artificial process. So when you buy uh, the goods, you don't. It doesn't really need much for it to before you add it to your main meal. So finding, uh, really getting a few tidbits from the traders here, and uh, the customers here are in a rush. Uh, it's Tuesday market after all. Trying to find a few of them to speak to, but it, it, it's it's kind of hard to. So for now, this is the report we have for you, Valerie. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Jay. Thank you for that report. I do want an answer to this question, though. Our WhatsApp is very interactive on 055 um, you, you all saw the video when Jay was there. The, the bottles, the, um, the mineral water bottles, they are used, right? And the palm oil is in there. People drink with their... <laughs> is that a food safety issue? So, yeah, today is Food Safety Day. Top in the trend, stock bear affair is still trending. Welcome to Ghana is trending. Sir John is trending. Last Last is still trending. Medical is still trending. And Kafui Day and his guests are trending, of course. Headlines is still on. Are you on the screen, Kaf? <laughs> Val is trending too. Uh, 055 1034. Hmm. So, we've got some. The disparity in wages is not only in the public sector. Mind you, employment within the private sector is more than in the public sector. When issues like these arise, we only speak of the public sector. Who regulates fair wages in the private sector? Nobody cares. People are really Ask suffering the out there. When they tell you their salaries, you cry for Ask them. The, the money is exactly the transportation to and fro. How is such a person going to survive? Please, read, oh, my boss might be watching. <laughs> I hear you. Uh... <laughs> You think that GTV Breakfast Show is beginning to read messages that interest them and the big men only. If not, why would you say these are your words, not the words of BFS? Still, you know they read some messages. By the way, Valerie, you just day my mind these days. So you are using our platform to, to send out uh, sweet nothings to Valerie. Mm? Mm? These are your words, not my words. <laughs> no, the reason we say that, it's a disclaimer. So that nobody takes us to court for uh, proffering views that are not ours. So we always have to say it. And on that note, I'll say views expressed by people who are sending messages remain your views not ours thank you so much more messages Sabo says our presenter must speak Ga and not chi uh, don't forget <laughs> he doesn't understand Ga. he speaks what he understands and the woman understood him she couldn't speak and she responded in Ga. so it was really surreal though because he asked a question in chi she responded in Ga, and he gave us a translation in english uh, it's a multilingual system we live in Afo Kafui says, I hear do Sunday. God bless Togbe Afeda for showing Ghanaians the way to heaven. May he live long and make heaven. All right. <laughs> but Monica has a different view. She says, I think Togbe Afeda could have done the refund in a manner that couldn't have been politicized. A social media journalist just put the original payment slip online and started the usual political insults. Togbe refunded the salary he received as well as he himself acknowledging the fact that the work was a short and part-time job. He needed only an allowance since the sal salaries he received monthly were too much for a short part-time job. That's your view. Monica, thank you so much for that. Um, expressed quite uh, clearly. Now, National Service Education. And this is from Felix, a former National Service Secretariat PRO. Good morning. On the issue of National Service Allowance, service personnel submit their monthly evaluation forms from the 10th to the 15th of every month. It will be processed for payment in the next month. So basically, that is how it is. It starts from the 15th of the month to the next month's 15th. For instance, the evaluation forms for May will be available on your dashboard from 10th to 15th for you to print and submit, and it will be processed. This has always been the mode of payment. So it's kind of unfortunate that some of the personnel are acting strange. So thank you so much, Felix, former NSS PRO, uh, giving us education that is really work good. Uh, good morning to you, Kaf and the team. You guys are doing a great job. But come to think of it, do people know that a lot of teachers are gradually moving to politics at the branch, constituency, district, and regional levels of the various parties? Hey, teachers. Uh, teachers. And talking of teachers, so when Jay was at the uh, uh, Tuesday market, uh, our, our camera lady, Messi, she says when she was in primary school, on Tuesdays, nobody went to school. They went shopping for the teachers. 
Oh, teachers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Grant says, good morning. Have a blessed day. Sheriff says, most of the money rituals are multi-TV. It's very annoying. It makes me stop watching them, their stations. Thank you for giving me that information. This is public information that the NCA needs to know. NCA, go and watch multi-TV. You will see uh, what's happening there. Please, I think what are the, they sell whatever they demand from those who come to do the money ritual. Except, uh, example, newborn babies, cows, dead bones, etc. to those who need it. After that, they will give you 60% of the money that they've gotten. And so, on that note, I want to say that uh, we need to actually... Be very careful about these money which are in trouble. And I, 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 talking of even babies, um, hmm, I saw a video that disturbed me very, very, very seriously over the weekend of a, of a baby that, was, that had been thrown away but was, was rescued and was covered up in tissues and everything, and they re recovered this baby. And I was thinking, wow, people are looking for babies, and others are throwing their babies away. Uh, more messages, 0555561034 from Nanakwesi. Uh, animal farm service scenario. Why should someone work part time and earn 365k for four years? Sinful. Um, MPs and ministers receive this every four years. Why? Millions of workers work for their entire lifetime and will not get it. This entire Article 71, the conditions of service should be reviewed. Thank you so much for that. Uh, is it a crime to be a teacher in Ghana? Colleen Teacher retired in April 2022 after 30 years of dedicated service to Mother Ghana, was, sa was paid less than 15,000 Ghana CDs. Some serve this nation on a part time basis for four years, given over 365,000 Ghana CDs. Whether Article 71 or not, what the animal state being run in is too much. Ghanaian workers are being paid rent, duty, and risk allowance, but the teacher isn't paid such allowances. Yeah, even our screen is protesting on behalf of the teachers. You know, it's really bad. Yes, rest in peace. For, you know, all the, I mean, the, 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 the screen is really protesting. Yeah, it's, 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 that's how it goes. I'd like to call attention to something I've noticed going on with these Momo vendors. Now, some ca now cash out money for customers without seeking any form of identification cards. When you receive their message for cash out approval, you key it in and it says request field. The vendor now sends, yeah, you know, yeah, the, the whole country is like, we need vim and vig vigor. <laughs> yeah, so one more message. Uh, well, it's a message to me. It's a message to me. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of things are going on. People are not happy. I sympathize with all of you. Uh, let's not lose hope. Okay, let's keep hope alive. It's painful, some of the things that happen, but let's keep hope alive. All right. Hope is what sustains us. I remember the late uh, Professor Atukwe Okai says, give them hope. Give them hope. People live on hope. So give people hope. It can't be all gloom and doom. Yeah, I've got to give them hope. Any hopeful words for us as you end this segment? Prof. Malto. Yeah, uh, indeed. Um, I, I'm so much worried um, about, I mean, with respect to the youth of today. Mm -hmm. And all we can tell them is to hold on. Mm -hmm. We are not living in normal times. Mm -hmm. uh, globally, um, every country is going through economic um, you know, uh, crisis. Um, what we can do as Ghanaians is to um, help support in a little way to ensure that we sacrifice. I mean, I mean sacrifice is, is the thing. Sacrifice to ensure that Ghana, I mean, develop to the state we expect it to, 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 to get to. Mm -hmm. And and also, um, Kafri, um, this issue of ritual monies, please, please, it is not real. It is not real. Uh, 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 don't, 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 don't entangle your, your life in any, some, some of those things. Get, get something do look riches are in hard work grace god will surely bless your 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 your, your hard work and like uh, doc mentioned the number of rich men wealthy men in the world there's no there's no ghanaian you don't have a ghanaian rich man globally <laughs> okay and the nigerian who comes in i mean who is counted is a businessman and you can count it's evidence. I mean, go, go, go to the... the, the, the uh, Dan Gote, the, the, the man is doing business. It's, it's not a ritual. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean uh, a ritualist or, or getting money or his money from, from, from ritual money. Mm -hmm. So I can only entreat the youth of today to use their hands, work and get, make the money they want to make, pursue a career. That will future we have only ghana but if you think you you you, you get rich overnight then sorry sorry thank you so much professor mauto uh dr Osai. Uh, my message is that there's no shortcut to success yeah it takes discipline honesty and hard work to be successful 
So the youth of today, you should understand that there is always the waiting period in life. Anybody who is very successful today went through some level of suffering, yeah. some level of sacrifices before uh, the person got there. Let me also tell people that we all have a role to play in building a country or developing a country. It doesn't take one person. Whichever way or wherever you are, please do your part. If you're a broadcaster, do the broadcasting well. If you're a teacher, teach well. If you're an auditor, audit without collecting bribes. If you're an accountant, <laughs> account well. And together, we'll be able to build this country. We have only one Ghana. No building better for us yeah. than Ghanaians. Yeah. Let us do our part. Hopeful words to end this segment, Dr. Edric Od Eric Odro Osai, Director General of the Inter Internal Audit Agency, and Professor John Koku Mauto is the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies, UPSA. Still to come, a conversation on World Food Safety Day, which is today, and Joyce Lynn Ejakwa Emusa from the Food and Drugs Authority will be here with Valerie on uh, the Yellow Couch in Your World to have a conversation. And still to come, just around the corner, is a conversation on terrorism. Uh, what's happening in Ghana, what we can learn here. Are we really even aware of what's going on? My guests are Dr. Adam Bona and Paul Grave Boachi Dankwa, who is a government spokesperson on governance and security. I want to end this segment with a comment from um, a friend on Facebook is called uh, Koshi Badohu, and it has to do with money doubling. It's, it's brief, but it's quite powerful. Money doubling is immoral, illegal, and absurd. Work is the only medium of participation in life. If people can get money without working for it, Life would come to a halt. This is why it's not permitted in any society. Why we permit what is prohibited in every traditional area on our airwaves baffles me. Our laws must reflect our values. The Bank of Ghana is the only body permitted to print money in Ghana. If anyone can openly produce or promise to produce money without the authority of the Bank of Ghana, he or she is engaged in an illegal act of counterfeiting. The amount of money in circulation in the country is a function of the level of production. If these monies are indeed produced outside the authority of the state, it would lead to inflation as these monies wouldn't be part of the money supply equation of the Bank of Ghana. Why would anyone be in the business of taking small in exchange for big? If money ritual is good, why is the priest and his family not rich? Weak national leadership is to be blamed for all manner of silly things happening in our country. The right to manifest one's religious belief is not a license to engage in immorality, illegality, and the spread of stupidity. Wonderful words from Koshi Badohu. You can follow him on Facebook, Koshi, K-O-R-S-H-I-E, Badohu, B-A-D-O-H-U, for more interesting thoughts. One of these days, we'll have him here on the studio, in the studio to speak from the traditional side of things. My name is Kafui Day. we we'll talk terrorism after this break and then food safety in the next hour you are watching gtv breakfast stay with us